What's up, everybody? Sambo here. Welcome back to City Fix episode 10, I believe. Now, um, mm, this city, it's it's come to a bit of a, a bit of a standstill along the main roads going through the city. But before we get into that, if you would like to hit that subscribe button, please go ahead. And also, my Instagram is there if you would like to send me your city. Now, if you would like to upload your city, you can do so to Steam. Just Go to the content manager, you can upload it there, and then simply just copy the link at the top of the screen, and then you can send it to me on Instagram or the comments below, and I shall find it. So, let's get back into it. Um, the city is, it's not too big, it's only 35,000 people, and the, <laughs> uh, the traffic flow is already like really, really bad. The inner areas are just absolutely... Um, yeah, not that good at all. We do have some public transport, so there's a few buses, and there's a lot of subway lines as well, which is great, which is great. But yeah, um, I think this is where all of the issues are coming from. Basically, they come, <laughs> they've come to a standstill. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just really like backed up. Um, it's backing up all the way into the suburbs. If we go like in here, there's backing up in there. Um, there's backing up in here as well. So it's a really, really <laughs> nightmare. And like even up here, there's, there's so much traffic. And then all of the people, it's like they've just abandoned their cars. They're like, you know what? We can't be bothered anymore. We're just going to walk. This city is fun. Um, what I want to do. Wow, look at all those people. Oh my God. Wow. That's a lot of people. Where are they all going? Up here, up here up here up here i don't know going into this big shopping district anyway so here is the city not too big i believe this is one of the vanilla maps i can't remember remember which one but anyway first thing that i want to do is remove this tunnel entrance because um, I'm going to put that back, but what I want to do is just update this roundabout because when you're using these types of roads, you have so many lanes here. There's what, five, six lanes on there, but really they're only using about two. And with these roads, they actually add in the pedestrian crossing, which is going to cause them to go even slower. And so I'm just going to update it to the highway. I'm also just going to do the same on the other roundabouts as well, because it's going to make it flow so much faster. I'm just using the three lane highway road with the wall barrier. Okay, this one you've kind of done already. I like that, that's good, because this is a pretty useful um, way to do the highway entrance and exits and also the roads going over the top. So well done on, to you on that, great. Um, this one over here as well needs to be updated. So we'll just do that quickly as well. Great, 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 great. Now, you put in this road here, which I assume is supposed to be a bypass. So you try to make them all bypass this inner area here and make it come back out into the tunnel, but actually none of them were using it. So what I'm going to do is update it to a highway because hopefully when it's a highway, it is more appealing to them. If I can just do it without actually demolishing or clicking on something else that I shouldn't. So I'm just using the four lane little mini highway um, I can't remember if it's if it comes from in the game or if it's part of one of the mods. I, I can't remember. Okay, it's not going to look very good, but I'm going to bring it around like this and back up. Obviously, if this was my city, I would do it so much better. But just for the sake of this video, I just do it quickly like so. So if we go back under, so it just comes around. Bit of a nice loop that comes back. And yeah, so it connects back up onto this mini highway as well, which gives them easy access back onto this highway as well. Now I could do a main entrance and exit directly from this, but I think it would just look a little bit too much. So just adding it onto this roundabout is going to just keep it simple looking. Now what type of traffic is going through here? Maybe we could ban trucks. Um, actually it looks like, looks like, oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god, look at all these people. But I'm not seeing trucks, which is fine, which is fine. So what we can do is... Uh, sorry, I'm just really amused by all of these people. It's really good. Where are they all going? Let's have a look. I don't know. It just seems to be a lot of people walking in this one spe specific, specific little area, which is cool. I like that. 
Now, since a lot of the traffic going through here is actually coming from this end and going back over to here, what we might do is add in um, a little slip lane from the side of this right here. We can join it up to that road as well, like so. And then we'll fix that up in a second. Quick update. So I have continued this highway underneath straight along through here. Um, this is going to be one big connection thingy bob here to this main road um, and then this will continue back all the way over to this highway over here um, I will probably modify this as well so we have a lot of this traffic from the uh, the cargo hub mixing in with general traffic that wants to get off the highway so I'm going to split that up a little bit but there's going to be a better highway connection up here so let's get on with that Okay, everyone, so <laughs> that took a little while, but the plan is to basically divert all of this highway traffic um, away from this inner city road, which is causing all of this issue, uh, and then directing them directing them through here, bypassing the city, going through, uh, and then if there is a lot of traffic, I can actually join it up to the highway. We'll just have to see how that goes. But um, the next step is to remove all of the extra traffic along here that we don't really need. So by doing that, well, how to do that is basically we need to kind of destroy this highway intersection. So that should get rid of a lot of this traffic over time. It's going to take a while for it to kind of um, like ease up and get through. But eventually they will all start to go down through here. Um, these buildings here, I left them, I just downgraded the road so they didn't actually like despawn or anything. Uh, I just moved the road over here. Um, in terms of these little roads here, yeah, I'm actually going to reverse them. So I do this a lot just so. We don't want to add in any more traffic into this area, so I'm just going to go like that, flip them around, um, and then also I'm just going to make sure that they can't do any weird crisscrosses through here. <laughs> Looks like they're going like along here in this third lane, and then going around, then back around, then back onto the main road again. Ugh, so annoying. But. We're getting there. So we have this little area up here. Just need to redo that. We don't need 10 million roads, guys. We don't need so much. There we go. We don't need so much. Um, we just connect that like so. Um, I would... I assume a lot of you would just connect this over to here. But then that's going to give us the same issue that caused all of this. So... We actually just need to go like this. Just simple down like so. And then we'll just do a simple on and off lane. And then if they do need to go onto the other lane, on the other side of the road, they can just go up here and then use the roundabout to turn around. Okay guys, so just like that, and just in case you didn't get it, so if they, for example, are on this side, if they're over here, but they want to get over to this side, because I didn't add in any direct connection. So all they have to do is just go back around, connect here, go up and then turn around on the roundabout and then they're back on the other side. Simple. I didn't want to add in another huge roundabout intersection highway thingy there because I feel like it would just look a little bit too much. Guys, look at that. Even though I'm just letting the whole game run, but look at this. Look how smooth that is. Straight up in, around, up in, around, 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 around. And oh, it's just, it's, it's satisfying because there's not really any crisscrossing except for this little part here, which I can't really change, but it's just so nice. Look at that. Straight up, straight in, straight out. Again, why do you have so many lanes here? Like you don't need, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six lanes. It's a little bit over the top, right? I mean, you, I, I suppose I could leave it, but... <laughs> It's kind of annoying me. I'm go not gonna lie. It kind of annoys me, so I'm just gonna downgrade it to two, at least two, um, and then just downgrade that to easy peasy. It doesn't look so overkill now because before it looked a little bit over the top. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so it's been some time now. It's good to see that the an industrial area for once in a city is not really, really horrible. Um, definitely the big roundabout has helped the highway connections, direct highway access from the industrial areas. It's basically empty. It's pretty empty now. Um, so a lot of cars, they're going through, bypassing. Let's go into the tunnels. 
can't really see. I mean, there's a few going through, but I guess just those few extra cars going through helps. We still have a lot of traffic issues here though. All of this traffic through here wants to go back out through there. Why aren't they, wait, what's going on through down here? What's going on? Okay, so I'm going to remove this intersection. Sorry to these guys. Sorry, sorry, but I mean, it's just too much going on. Do we have a little roundabout? We do have a roundabout up there that they could use. Uh, I guess we could. It could be annoying. Um, I could make it only a right turn. So then they just flow in a lot faster. You know what I mean? So this lane here would be entrance and then this one would go straight ahead. Right. So then we come over here. Then we got some traffic over here. Oh, oh, oh. And they're all trying to go out, what, through here? Jesus, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, what is this mess? I might just add one little entrance lane here, just like, if I can just get a nice straight one. There we go, just, just something like that, easy peasy. Just so all of this traffic here doesn't have to funnel back over in through here. Because that's what they're doing, they're all funneling over here. Um, they could just go over here, but I guess they don't want to. Okay, so what I want to do here is basically remove the traffic lights and make it able to flow without the issue of traffic lights, right? Um, looks like these cars are all wanting to go back in there. Hmm. Why though? Why are you going back there? This road here, they're all for some reason coming back into this area and it's blocking all of this traffic behind. Well, it's not really blocking that, but it is causing an issue. So I'm going to just demolish that and bring the road down, but not actually connect it to the road like so, like that. Great. So then they can flow through a lot easier. Now we just remove the intersection. Yes, I did that already. Look at all these people. Okay, that's a lot of people. So we might need to do some elevated um, pathways in a second. We'll do that towards the end of the video. We'll, do, we'll focus on the road first. I'm just going to use this road. So it is the two lanes on this side, then three lanes on the other side. And what we're going to do is, actually, I should update this one as well. This road. Is that the right way? That way. Flip that. And then also this one. Flip. So that should be fine. And then I just need to update this, um, Round about to three lanes. Great. Now what I'm going to do is basically stop them from turning in like so. So they can only go to the right. Now if they do want to go left from here, they can just go up to the roundabout and turn. Now we'll turn that off. Um, we'll make that... Do a little sneaky like that, they can go straight through. Um, this part here would just stop it so they can't turn right, they can only go straight ahead again because we don't want them to cross traffic. And then they can go up here, use the roundabout to turn around. These little guys entering here, they should give way, definitely. They should wait. Um, we need to remove that intersection, yep, that's good, it's doing that. Actually, this little thing here, that's not working. Sorry, not working. I'm going to move it up here. Okay, so the reason why I moved that little connection from there up to here um, is because this traffic was just mixing in with all of that and it was be becoming a bit of a mess. So I moved it up here out of the way. So they go up here and hopefully rather connect onto that one or go up through this area over here. So just trying to remove that amount of traffic in through there. And then for the first few blocks here, I'm just going to remove the left turn in so i'm just going to make them it's, it's a little bit annoying but they have to go all the way up here to be able to turn into their suburb but I, i'm doing that just so it relieves a lot of the traffic crossing in this area which we don't want i just removed the left turn in through here and look at it go look at the traffic flowing through huh that's helped a lot see just those crisscrossing turns they can cause so many issues now i know what you're going to say it's annoying that you're blocking the left turn in, but they can easily just go up here, use this huge roundabout, come back around here and then turn in from that side. And this is something that happens all the time. It just helps with the flow. Um, it makes it really smooth and just easy. Um, I'm also going to do the same for, what's this one? That's a turning one, so yeah. 
Straight ahead, please. Straight ahead, because they're really close to the roundabout, so that one's okay. Look at all those people, though. Oh, my God. Crazy. Um, let's do a pedestrian thingy. I think I have a bridge. Um, hopefully, they'll use that, because if we can remove all of the pedestrians... No crossing there, no crossing there. If we can remove all the pedestrians, that's going to help the flow even better. Even more. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at them. Oh, my God. That's crazy. The amount of people. I feel like they they honestly have just gave up on their car. They're like, you know what? Who cares about cars? Let's just walk. It's so much faster. The game has been running for a little while now. It's almost been an hour, by the way. Um, but this area has cleared itself up because I started updating some of the roads in here um, Four lanes just giving them a little bit more guidance because before I updated any roads They were all just the little suburban roads and that means they kind of just all went wherever They didn't really care. They didn't really know they didn't have any main road to follow so now they have a main road to follow and Yeah, that actually cleared it up after a little while um, it does take time for them to clear up and I don't just clear traffic as a lot of people accuse that I do um, Which is annoying, but if, I mean if you don't like my videos don't watch. Yeah, there's still a lot of traffic coming down in through here um, What I can do is There's traffic lights here. Yeah, so we'll just remove the traffic lights um, and basically make them only be able to turn that way turn right so I don't want them to go up across or do anything crazy like that so I can just go straight down um, if they do need to turn around they can use the roundabout to turn around easy peasy they also have this main connection over here which they seem to be forgetting about I still can't get over how many people there are in this though I just I can't I can't get over it. it's crazy oh my god I just can't believe that it's just so weird like I don't have any mod or anything on I don't I haven't checked if they have um, put any mods on um, the biking mod no yeah it's not even on so it wasn't me I don't know but that's kind of cleared this up um, it looks a little bit over the top with two roundabouts right next to each other but it's it's helped um, so basically if there's something that you should take away from this is don't have your main road going through your downtown area that is connecting from one highway to another so instead of doing like what this person has done um, do a bypass that goes all the way around like that because you have so much traffic in here because naturally like you're in the inner areas of a city right there's going to be a lot of traffic so why would you want to add in more traffic on top of that why would you want to make it congested so that's why you need to do something to get to bypass those busy areas and if you're still not into roundabouts, like why you, I mean, they're so good. They're so helpful roundabouts. So anyway, let's just do a quick re recap. Um, we removed the highway connection over here because all of the, the highway traffic was basically wanting to go from here over to this point here. And they had to go through the downtown area, mix in with all of the existing downtown traffic, which was just too crazy. It just wasn't working. So demolished that gave the cargo train its own little entrance and exit they can go up here and turn around we added this area in as well so they can go along here um, easy connections it connects here through roundabouts and then goes underneath the downtown area so bypasses all of that traffic area and comes back over through here and then also just added in some main roads through here just to give a bit of guidance and remove some of the pedestrian crossings so yeah that's basically it. Um, pretty easy fix. Um, I didn't want to do a really hard fix because I haven't done a city fix in a little while. I had a little bit of a holiday. I went to another city, which was nice. So I just didn't want to go into something really hardcore. But there will be some more harder ones coming throughout the month. Now, if you would like to send me your city, again, I'm going to mention it. Just go to your Steam Content Manager and you find your city save and upload it onto steam and then make sure that it's public so i can actually see it so once you've uploaded it uploaded it just copy the link at the top of the screen and send it to me either via instagram which is linked below or in the comments below or you can just type sambo in the title of the save and i'll come find it so anyway guys that's all for this video and i'll see you all next time